In this tutorial, we'll see how to gather Palo Alto address object details using Pan OS address object module. First, we'll go to the documentation. If you want to open the documentation of Palo Alto modules, you need to go to collections, namespace. Within namespace, we need to search for Palo Alto. Click on view collections. Open Pan OS documentation. Here we'll be able to see the documentation of each module. Whenever you are learning a new module, first itself, don't try to configure the database using that particular module. First, go through the documentation and understand how to gather the configuration data. In this video, we'll see how to gather Pan OS address object details. For example, in Cisco IOS resource modules, there is a configuration state called overridden. Without validation, if you set that parameter, it will try to override even the existing device configuration with whatever you are adding in the module parameters. So first you try to gather the data. Here, if you see the configuration state, we have a state called gathered. We will try to use this particular state. And here also we are passing the provider with IP address, username and password. This we have encrypted in the previous video. Now we'll go to Palo Alto firewall. Here I have multiple objects added. These three are IP net mask object type. And this is an IP range. And this is an FQDN. We'll try to gather all these details. Now I'll go to VS Code. Here all these details we have seen in the previous video. And here I have added the module name, Palo Alto Networks, Pan OS, Pan OS underscore address object. Here I have added the provider and I'll add the configuration state. State is going to be gathered and I'll register this to a variable. I will call this object details. We'll try to print that here. Now we'll try running the playbook. Here I'll change the file name to 02. Enter. Password is 1234. And here we are getting a message saying that gathered filter is a mandatory parameter when we are using state gathered. We'll go to the documentation. If you see here, it's saying when state is gathered, we can use an advanced filtering option to filter results returned from PanOS. And here they have mentioned, refer to the guide discussing gathered filter for more information. This is an interesting feature in Palo Alto module. So this will help you to do advanced filtering on Pan OS objects. And you can see here beyond simple name matching, we can do advanced filtering. This we'll see in the next video. Here now we'll see how to gather the address objects. To get all the objects, we can either use asterisk true or a regex pattern name and matches regex and we can give in this format so we'll try to use this asterisk i'll copy this go to vs code i'll paste it here now we'll try running the playbook One, two, three, four. Now we are getting all the address objects from Palo Alto firewall. You can see here LAN host one is a IP net mask address type. Its value is this. Then we have IP range for Wi-Fi access point. Then one FQDN address type. 
for the NTP server. Now instead of this, we can even use true. I'll comment this and I'll give true here. And we'll try to decrypt this particular vault so that we don't have to frequently enter the password since it is a non production environment. I'm just going to decrypt it. I'll give Ansible vault decrypt. The file name is inventory, then host wars PA01. Enter one, two, three, four. And now for running, we don't have to give password. I'll try running again. Now also we are getting all the address objects. In this way, we can use an OS address object module for gathering the address objects configured. In the next tutorial, we'll see how to use gathered filter.